in this video we will see a question on projection of lines the question is line ab 75 mm long which makes an angle of 45 degree with vp while its front view makes an angle of 55 degree so line ab has been given which is 75 mm that means true length has been given as 75 mm which is inclined at 45 degree with respect to vp that means that line will come in hp while it's front to max an angle of 55 degree now and a is 10 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of vp the position of point a above the reference line xy above and below has been given the position of point a about the reference line xy above and below that has been given if line is in first quadrant draw its projections and find its inclination with respect to hp these are the steps which are to be followed for drawing the projection of line now the very first step is to draw the reference line that is the xy line then we used to draw a vertical line and let us mark point a above and below on this vertical line at an given distance of 10 mm and 15 mm so this 10 mm has been given for a dash and this 15 mm has been given for point a in top view now the length of ab 75 has been given and an angle has been given with vp so that part that will be visible in top view so let us draw a horizontal line from passing point a and a dash from a dash we will mark this particular front view at an angle 55 degree so first let us mark this line ab of 75 mm that means true length of 75 mm at an angle 45 degree so let us mark 45 degree from this horizontal line with respect to point a and let us draw a line of 75 mm now this a to b1 the distance from a to b1 is 75 mm this is known as the true length now from point a as we will mark a 55 degree and we will draw a line or we will pass a line but we don't know the point b as we don't know the end point so for that what we will do we will draw a vertical line passing through point b1 in the upward direction till this particular line and then we will take the radius a as to this arrow in rounder and a as a center and we will draw a arc wherever this arc cuts this line which is at angle of 55 degree that gives the point b as so this is how we get the front view a as b as this particular line is known as the front view so that front view has been dark only the front view and the top view should be dark other lines should be faint now for getting the top view uh, we have to directly locate this point b as vertically in the downward direction up to the locus of point b so up to the locus of point b we have drawn a vertical line passing through point b as wherever it cuts the locus of b1 we can say b1 or b so directly join that point with respect to a that gives the top view ab so this is how we go for the top view and front view for drawing in this particular problem now we can draw the true length in the front view also as per our requirement what we can do we can directly take the distance a to b in the rounder a as a radius and we will draw a arc and then vertically in the upward direction so this particular line is known as the true length in front view and true length in the top view the question is front view of a line ab is 50 degree inclined to xy and measures 55 mm long with its top view is 60 degree inclined to xy line so in next line if and a is 10 mm above hp and 15 mm below vp or in front of vp draw its projection find true length inclinations of line with hp and vp the position of point a has been given with respect to xy line 10 mm above 
XY line or we can say above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. These are the steps which are to be followed for the projection of line for this particular question. Now, the very first step is to draw a XY reference line. Then we will draw a vertical line and we will mark this 10 mm and 15 mm above and below this reference line XY. So this A dash has been marked at a distance of 10 mm from this reference line XY and this A in front of VP has been marked at a distance of 15 mm from the line XY. Now draw the horizontal line from point A and from point A dash. Now the front view of a line AB is 50 degree inclined to XY line. The inclination of front view has been given as 50 degree and the true length is 55 mm. Let us mark this 50 degree and draw a line passing through this point A dash. We don't know the exact, exact point of B dash as the distance or length of the front view has not been given. Similarly, and mark 55 mm as the length of front view has been given in this question. Now top view, is it an angle of 60 degree with respect to X, Y line. So mark 60 degree from this particular horizontal line and draw a line passing through at an angle 60 degree. Now draw a vertical line passing through point B dash wherever it intersects the top view that gives the point B. So this is how we get the front view and top view for the true length. Take a radius A dash and B dash and a center A dash. Draw arc and draw the vertical line passing through this particular point till this trace of B and join this point B one and A that gives the true length in top view. Similarly, for getting the true length in front view, draw an arc by taking a radius AB as a center A, then draw a vertical line passing through this particular point wherever it intersects this trace of B dash that gives the point B1 dash joining of A dash and B1 dash that gives the true length for the front view. So this is how we, we have drawn the different views, front view, top view and the true length for the front view and top view. And we can find the angle also with respect to XY line of the true length in front view and in top view that is theta and phi we have marked.